All right, so here we go. We've got the pile. PPHP1599 WU.5 set up on a tripod, ready to be demoed. Now, of course, I'm using it on the microphone. Set up just off to the next to the camera is a condenser style microphone for studio reuse, which we are going to use to record this at our best possible capability. It's an MPM 3000 from Rantz, and that's all going to be hooked up through the camera. So that should help out to a certain degree. Remember, these always sound better in person, in live, but if you don't get that opportunity, this is the second best thing, I guess. Uh, remember, we always have links for this for our website down below, or you can find our links to Amazon.com. That's our affiliate connection with Amazon. That's how you help sponsor this actual video. Hi there, Robin here from Expert Island, and today we've got exciting news because we have a brand new product that has really changed what I think of when it comes to rechargeable speakers. This happens to be the brand new PPHP 1599WU.5. Yes, I said 0.5. So it's a 1599W.5 compared to their previous models, much, much better off. They fixed a whole bunch of problems that have been creeping up on these products for the last few years. And this isn't just from Pile, this is from all the manufacturers. Some manufacturers have gotten to the point where they're so frustrated with their rechargeable speakers that they've discontinued them. Pile took the other way around and said, let's take a look. We've been having good success with some new products and getting the factories to really build us a better product. And they decided to give this one more try and this is what they came out with. I think it's really good. They fixed a whole ton of issues on the speaker and it's really worth buying based on the price point it's at. Uh, of course you can buy a commercial grade, blah, 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 you can get in all kinds of stuff when you spend three times the price. But we're trying to be reasonable. We want a party speaker, we want a karaoke speaker, we want a speaker for special events to be able to just pull out and use and have it work really, really well. A lot of speakers claim but this one actually is delivering. We're gonna talk about all the features and let's take a quick look at what we're talking about and then we'll get it closer to the camera and have a really big look inside. Right off the hop, they changed the handle assembly on it. The handle now is retracted from the inside. They've actually dropped the overall pull height on it. This way it's really strong and it comes out to just the right height on it. Now that's just a simple feature like the handle. The other thing they've changed on it is how you get access to the battery. Now, other companies have done this in the past uh, with some success. They got it right. They've got four screws that actually hold the rechargeable battery inside. When you buy it, it is hot glued at the bottom, so you do have to cut the release so you can get it out. They do that so this way it doesn't get jarred loose in shipping. Then they've turned around and changed the way it recharges. Uh, they've given you two switches on both sides, and they did have this previously, but most manufacturers don't, and this has been a really big problem when it comes to recharging these batteries. You would turn it on, and the unit would simply go into charge mode all the time. And if you forgot it, and you unplugged it, and you left it plugged in, most manufacturers still charged. So within a matter of a week or two, your battery would be spoiled. Here, what they've done is AC has been separated from the main power, so we do have power. And all we gotta do is if the sound quality starts to go down or we lose Bluetooth connectivity, anything at all changes in the sound quality, we can turn the charger back on. Most importantly though, to take away the guess work from the whole thing, they've added a battery level indicator on it, which again, they didn't have before and very few companies did offer that, but they've added that into the system. Combining this battery level indicator with a separate charge switch on it really fixes a lot of the long-term use of the products. It's to basically have an actual rechargeable speaker uh, for a year, two years, three years, four years down the road. This is what's going to save you with the product. So only charge it when you have to, and now you'll be able to see how. The other big issue with these speakers in the past have been the microphones. They were VHF. Most of them are still VHF out there right now. Um, they just got worse and worse as time went on. This type of speaker has been around for five, six years 
and the last, the last few versions of the speakers haven't been really good, especially if you plan on using it for a PA system or you really like to use it for karaoke. Now, this is where, and I think this is where we're looking at when we see the 0.5 at the end of the model, is at the last minute they changed the microphones because they realized they needed to comply. So what does this little card at the bottom all about? It's about telling you that it's FCC compliant wireless microphone. So it's in the proper frequency range for a UHF, like you would buy on a commercial side product. That's what's with the package now. This is really gonna change the overall sound quality of it, and of course, we're gonna try that in the back, and I'm gonna do, do a walk around with it. This allows us to have the clarity, the sharpness, and most importantly, the distance to be able to get away from the actual speaker and use this without it cutting in and cutting out. Now, because it's Pile, they do offer extra features like their reverb time delay options and their echo. Those are the part of their effects package. So if you do plan on using this for karaoke or you plan on plugging guitar into it or anything like that, you're gonna have a lot of options when it comes to controlling the sound and giving yourself that big room effect just by using those options. That's there. They've also upgraded their Bluetooth capability on the unit. So these are just some of the features. But all of that is useless if it doesn't have power. This one here, they've gone back to their original amp system they had in it, and they basically, where the power levels have been going lower and lower over the years, this has gone back to where they are, twice as loud as what you're gonna find on an average speaker of this size. So that's a big plus. Now I do know that on the box they say, you know, 800 watts and 1600 watts and all that kind of stuff. Regardless of how they actually put the numbers on the box, this is twice as loud as anything else you're gonna buy in the price point with wireless microphones. So, there you go. Let's take a close look at it. So a quick overview from the bottom up. And again, this is your main power switch, which is gonna turn the overall unit on and off. And then on this side is the actual charge unit that's going to turn the AC power on or off. If you plan on using it for 10 hours in a day, you can have both these on at the same time. If you plan on charging because the battery's low and you've decided to turn on, you can still use the unit. No problem there. On this side, we also see a fuse, and this fuse is a 15 amp rated fuse, and it's for the DC option, so this way if I do plug in an external power source or I do plan on taking power from this unit, this protects this unit here from either putting too much more than 15 amps into the system or pulling more than 15 amps out of the system. So that's what's going on there. Right above here is an actual light that's not on right now because we don't have a power cord on it, but this is actually telling us when the unit is charging. Charge light built right into the unit. These two antennas, antenna A and antenna B, are both for the UHF wireless microphone systems, which do or do not have to be pulled out depending on your circumstance. That's all straight there. On this side here, we've got our battery recharge indicator, which goes four indicators. So we go from 25% or less, then we've got 50 in the amber, and then 75 and 100 are both indicated in green. Up to this control panel here, this makes reference to the UHF wireless microphone system. So if we plan on using it, we'll turn the volume down, we engage that. Not to waste power, if it's not needed, you don't need to turn that on. You have gain controls right here, and they're gonna be operated against the actual master volume located at top. So again, very straightforward. This is the microphone. Two AA batteries, one located on each side, easy to remove, easy to install, and they're not gonna fall loose. Once this bottom cover is in place, turn it on, there you go. Straightforward, and it has a full display on it. Tells us the frequency, the channel it's operating on. It's gonna be fixed at this because it is matched up for this unit, and you don't have to worry about that falling out of place. Outside of that, once we turn up the volume, we're gonna have full sound out of it, no issues. And again, the quality is good. You've got mic level controls for the mic inputs, the echo and the reverb all built in to the unit. You can dial it up or as little as you'd like to have. Now that we've made our way up to here, we can see that we have a mic input on a quarter inch and a mic two or guitar input right next to it. And again, gain controls right here. Above that, we've got line in, line out. So we did want to plan on hooking up a second speaker or anything like that to it. We can use the line out. Anything from a CD player, DVD player, if you're doing an outdoor movie, you can plug it into here. If you've got uh, uh, a computer that you need, go from RCA to auxiliary 3.5. That's all gonna be here. Your preamp control for that is here. This is gonna be your level controls. 
Then you've got a treble and a bass control here so you can adjust your highs and lows. And then your master volume, which is what's actually gonna drive the woofer and the tweeter in the front. That simple. On top of that, we've got our media display. With that, we have the options for Bluetooth, FM tuner, and back to the actual USB and micro SD for the MP3 player. This unit also features a record option, which you are gonna to have to get used to a little bit to dial it in, but it allows you to record whatever's going on down here. You can't record the radio or the Bluetooth, but you will be able to record all the microphone options. So if you have your music coming in through the line and you're using the wireless mics and a guitar, all of that can be recorded onto a USB stick or an SD card by simply pressing this button here. Some of the nice little features on the unit are the actual microphone handles. Now, I made a choice on which way I wanted these put on. These do come loose in a Ziploc bag with the screws and the particular unit that we got here didn't actually have any pre-made drill holes in it. So do be cautious about where you plan on putting it in if your unit doesn't have any holes in it. Now, I could have placed these rings upward and then the microphones would have been up, but I actually liked it this way because it allowed the mics to go down and then rest against the actual case. The unit does feature three handles. For the fit and finish, everything is connected really well to the unit. It displays really well. It's very clean, uh, very little defects, if any at all. Rubber wheels at the bottom, extra actual feet on this particular unit, which again, I've seen problems with other units that don't have feet in the front. And one, it slides around a lot. Uh, it's very tippy, backwards and forwards, and uh, it doesn't sit straight. It actually needs rubber feet to be level on an actual surface. So that's nice to see that they did that as well. Now remember this unit here, when we turn it sideways, can be used as a monitor. That's actually why the handles have these subtle curves to them. It allows it to drop back on a 45 degree on its side. Outside of that, it's not waterproof, so do not leave it out in the rain. Cover it up with a clear garbage bag. The music will play right through it, no problem. And that pretty much covers all the features of the unit. Again, the battery life on it's probably gonna go anywhere at 50% volume for eight hours. If you're running it hotter than that, you're gonna go between six and four hours. Uh, and if you just forget it on and there's no volume on it at all, expect to come back to it tomorrow and it still have per plenty of battery life to go. One real big feature on the new unit is the remote control. Now the remote control is not a tiny little credit card remote and it does control things like the digital volume options. So if you have your phone paired off to it, you can up and down. This is the big difference. The actual feature of play, pause, skip, and previous now works on Spotify. Now it may not sound like a big deal, but all these units previous to this model, not just from this manufacturer, but from other manufacturers, if your songs were not physically on your phone, uh, like an iTunes, that sort of thing, where you had a copy of that song on your phone, these features like play, pause, skip, and next would not work. They just, it's a non-functioning system. So all of that is now part of the actual remote. And the remote has an IR in the back and in the front. So now this remote, again, unlike other remotes, will work from the back of the unit or from the front of the unit. And we did manage to get it at least 15 feet away. So about five meters. So that was really nice. So if you're looking for an actual speaker for your conference room, for your next corporate meetings, uh, or for you need it for a warehouse or a big just you know rec room doesn't matter this is going to do the job for you if you just need it for talk go for it if you need it for karaoke it's got all the features built into it if you want it for a backyard party it's going to fill the whole space so it's one of these jack of all trade type speakers so you definitely get your money back out of this product you might buy it for one specific reason, but you'll probably find a lot of other good reasons to use it as well. So remember, links are always down below. If you've got any questions or comments, please let us know. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have, like I say always, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And we'll see you on the next video. So bye for now.